Hey Bears, Eric here, and in today's video, we're going to be watching a clip from Katie Did's channel, shout out to Katie Did, where Mahler puts nerdrotic Gary on the spot and exposes him as a fake comic book fan. Before we go on to watch this clip, if you enjoy this video, you enjoy the content you're watching, make sure to join the revolution, help fight back against that negative algorithm by subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment down below. We're already seeing the effects of this. We're all changing that algorithm for the better, so we're getting more diverse search results when we look up content on YouTube, which is a bad spot right now when it comes to algorithm, finding things that people are looking for. But we're making a difference. We're doing it, and you can join the revolution today by subscribing. Let's watch this clip. Do you want to do the trailer reaction? Let's do to, it. Uh... Who's this, Gary? Uh, yeah, so who is this person anyway? Uh, I'm going to guess Polaris. I have no fucking idea. Uh, <laughs> what? My chat was saying it's like Veronica okay. something. I forgot her name entirely. Which, she's got telekinesis. That's all I know. Yes. Yeah, let's keep it on chat as okay. well. What have we got, guys? Fill us in. <laughs> Who is tree? this girl, Professor X? <laughs> In the, if you see carefully, when you uh, here is your you see old man scale? Logan reference. By the way, I want to say when uh, Mahler said like a girl Professor X, that was like a pretty big clue on the character, and um, yeah, pretty funny that that he picked up on that and Gary didn't. In the, if you see carefully, when you uh, here is the your you you see old man Logan reference. Yeah. About. Really? I thought that the giant Ant Man skull was a reference to Quantumania. Because <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> I don't recognize much of anyone else. But I'm working on limited information, okay? Popeye was there. Gary, you're supposed to be our guy. Popeye. Says, oh my God. So, see there, uh, Mahler says, Gary, you're supposed to be our guy, the comic book guy, the comic book expert. Gary Nerd Roddick uh, is the comic book expert. Let's see what he says. Here. Look at this. Mm. That's what you're supposed to do. In the Marvel guy. Gary? Yes. Anything? Any reference? Help me out. My brain is 80% today, dude. No, no. I'm I'm literally asking a question. I have no fucking idea. Help me out, it's, it's, My brain is not yeah. firing on all cylinders. Chat, <sighs> fill us in, all right? Your chat, you are now, what is it, new rock stars? So the chat is supposed to fill in the content creators on stuff that they're supposed to be experts on. Now, the thing is, if I don't know something, I will just say, I don't know what this is. And I've never said I'm an expert on anything. Um, but these guys, for the purpose of the kind of content they're making, they have to come across as know-it-alls on every single subject. Their opinions have to be paramount. So it's really weird when they're shifting and acting like they don't know what this is, especially Gary. Uh, we'll talk about more of that in a second. So you go, did you know? Do you know? the big man. I don't know what accent I'm going is this for. Like a, a Death Rider type of business. We saw the purple cloud from what was the name of that? St fucking them, whatever. So, didn't even know references to Loki, even though they've made tons of content around that. Didn't know references to Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, a movie that they also talked about quite often. Don't know references to movies from two decades ago. I mean, it's just. It's really strange to me that Gary, the guy that every he's on all these shows, he's being passed around as an expert. I'm actually surprised that for his own sake, he did not prep for watching this trailer on stream. I'm actually shocked that he went into this and did not prep for watching this trailer for the sake of being like the Wizard of Oz, the guy behind the curtain. I'm surprised that he did not come in with some information ready for this trailer so that he could seem like an expert, like he says all the time that he's so versed on this. He's the comic book guy. When he makes videos and talks about uh, having a comic book shop, this is what he says. This is what he does. Surprised that he didn't do that. Uh, but let me tell you why this is so telling. There's actually a few things here that I want to discuss. Uh, the, the big thing is that this is a product of Gary being an older guy who is no longer engaging in the media that he is criticizing. This is the one of the pitfalls of that. And we've been saying this for a while now. Eventually, it's going to get to a point where stuff is coming out that they can no longer go, hey, this wasn't canon in the comic books or this, you know, I read this when I was growing up or this is something that I loved when I was a kid. It's going to get to a point where that's not going to happen. So we're introducing characters now that came out right after like the end of that phase where these guys were reading comic books regularly. A lot of them said they haven't read comic books in ages. Now, I'm not saying they, they didn't pick up a run here and there over the last 20 years where they've read, you know, this person's 
four issue miniseries or something like that. But overall, they're not reading and collecting comics regularly. So they are getting uh, cultured out of comic books. I was going to say aged out, but that's not really the correct way to put it. They're getting cultured out of the comics. They're not engaging with the content that they're criticizing. And we're going to see more and more of this, where they're either going to have to pretend that they know they're no longer going to do these live reactions, they're no longer going to do this kind of stuff in front of a live audience, um, because, because they're going to have to resort to asking the chat to give them information. Uh, Polaris for this character. Polaris and then the chat didn't even really know either, which, I mean, I'm not really surprised because the people that engage with these guys don't know. If I were to ask my chat, if I was watching a trailer of like anything and I were to say, hey, chat, I don't know who this character is. Who is this? Who is this character? At least one or two people in the chat in, my, in, in the live streams that I have um, would probably know who that character is. I like engaging with people who are keeping up with the things that they love. That's the reality of it. These guys have tapped out. They've stopped reading comics. They've stopped watching the shows. They've stopped watching the movies. At this point, they, they can no longer run a fandom community if they're not actually engaging with the content that they're talking about. It is impossible. This was an inevitable thing. And this is a result of them no longer loving the stuff they used to love. And I've talked about this before, that if you... If you find that you don't love something anymore, it's okay to move on from that and to find something else that you enjoy. But if you dislike something so much that you're not even willing to watch it or keep up with it or follow along with it, and then a trailer like this comes out that references comic books that you're not reading, movies that you didn't watch, shows that you didn't watch, that's probably a big red flag for you to maybe start engaging with the content that you want to criticize. Because it makes you look really stupid when someone like Mahler comes on your show I guess this is their show, their, their show together, and says, hey, you're the comic book guy. Who is this person? Who are these people? What is this thing? And then as is like, does any of this look familiar to you? No, none of this looks familiar. None of that even popped off in Gary's head. It's like, oh, I'm only 80%. My brain's only 80% working today. You don't need 80%. You don't need 100% capacity of your brain to recognize little things from movies and TV shows that you talk about multiple times a week, that you've criticized over and over and over again for years. You can't tell me that, oh, I get a pass this time because of this reason, but any other time I criticize uh, actors, directors, people like that that don't know every single thing from comic books, they should know 100% before they're talking about it. And then you get on camera and you try to talk about something that you don't know anything about. It's that double standard, that hypocrisy that I keep talking about all the time. Mahler and Az actually exposed Gary here. And I'm so glad that Katie got this clip because I don't wa I can't watch 100 hours of streams from these guys. So again, shout out to Katie. Katie's got a great channel. She does live streams. She also has clips. Go over and check Katie out. But um, yeah, this is, this is very shocking to me. Not surprising in the sense that I'm surprised that Gary doesn't know these things. Because as we move further and further into modern comic books, he's going to know less and less. And eventually he's not going to be able to complain because he, he won't even know the characters he's talking about without actually reading them and engaging with them. Matter of fact, I'm going back and reading a bunch of X titles that I didn't read over the years. I downloaded Marvel Unlimited, um, signed up again, and I'm reading them again because I want to know about the shit I'm engaging with. If I'm here as a content creator and I'm giving you guys my opinions on stuff, I need to have at least a a general idea of the characters that are in these movies and these TV shows. It just makes sense. It's being responsible for the kind of content you're making, which these guys don't know. But why I said it was um, shocking is I, I don't understand why he didn't prep himself going into the stream. And th again, this is just going to keep happening more and more. It's happening with all these guys. They are basically getting cultured out of the content they're talking about. And I think it's absolutely wild that they're going on camera in HD and getting exposed by other people in their in their streams. I wonder if Mahler was correct on this. Don't ever put me on the spot again. You made me look really stupid. But knowing Gary one, with 1 1.2 million subscribers, he probably doesn't care if he looks stupid or not. It's, in his mind, he doesn't give a shit. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.